The multinational corporation Nokia was established in Finland in 1865. Once upon a time, Nokia was the biggest mobile company in the world. But now it's almost nowhere. So what happened? What was the reason behind Nokia's downfall? To understand this. First, we must know how Nokia became such a huge and famous brand. Nokia bought a telephonic company named Mobara. At first, they made a telephone handset device. Nokia introduced its first car phone in 1982. It was known as the Nokia Mobara Senator. It weighed a massive 10 kilograms. In 1984 they made Nokia Mobara Talkman. It was said to be the first transportable phone. It could be used in and out of the car. It weighed 5 kilograms. In 1987 Nokia shocked the whole world with Nokia Mobara City Man. A phone which was lighter than the previous ones. And you could use it anywhere. It weighed 800 grams only. The Mobara City Man was a huge hit. Nokia became world famous with this product. Harry Hokeri was the Prime Minister of Finland in 1991. He made the first ever GSM call in history through a Nokia mobile. In 1992, they made the Nokia 1011. The mobile was a huge hit throughout Europe and the US. Their best-selling phones of 2100 series were launched in 1994. The first feature phone. Nokia expected to sell 1 million units of the phone. But they sold 20 million instead. Nokia crossed its expectations. But Nokia had done a big mistake. They misjudged the market. In 1990, Nokia had predicted that. There would be 40 million mobile users worldwide by 1999. But they were wrong. There were 250 million mobile users in 1999 instead. But still, Nokia managed to beat Motorola. And became the most dominating company in the mobile market. Nokia captured almost 25% of the global market. All the models created by Nokia topped the sales chart. Nokia kept innovating their designs and features. From 2003 to 2005. Nokia 1100. And Nokia 1110. Was Nokia's best-selling mobile. Soon Nokia captured 70% market share in Asia. But Nokia failed in one thing. That was adapting to the progress of the market. By the end of 2010s, iOS and Android was introduced in US and US.